So hello guys, welcome to Level Up TV. You're listening to NVC, joined by Draven today. This is Rafa up against Avec. This is deciding the top place finisher. Was deciding the top place finisher. Rafa winning that map by password default. How many times did it happen already? Like, like 10 times? <laughs> A few times. The problem is as well, when you get the password wrong on the server, if you try and reconnect, it doesn't work because it's a local host, so you have to exit the game, enter the password again, so that's why there's a bit of a delay with that. I think back. he probably exited his config or something at some point, and then uh, he probably has the password in his config, so... I see him joining. So again, hello guys, welcome to Level Up TV. You're listening to NVC, joined by... Three, two, by Draven. Oh, it says Tony there. We are joined by Draven. Uh, this is Rafa up against Avec. This is deciding who finished first in their group. Arrowwalk is first. Draven, expecting anything to say here? I think uh, Avec can win this. You, you did say this was the map you had to take because he wouldn't stand yeah. much of a chance on Hectic to... Uh... No, T7 is the second map. Oh, T7, sorry. So, uh, yeah, Ruffles pretty strong on the T7. Right? Yeah. Like, all the Americans are pretty strong. Right? Like, Dang and Ruffles are strong on the T7. I remember Dang was the first person to re really try it, try face that map, and uh, all the Americans who followed. But right now, Avec only on 9 HP, so not off to the greatest start. As, uh, Rafa will pick up that Mega. I think Avec may push in towards Red here. Rafa failing the jump, though. Disgusting, this. Uh... Actually, Avec not even going in for the uh, item just yet. Very, a very aggressive play by Avec. Do you like this, what he's doing? Uh, well, it depends. If Rafa can hit the one rail, he can kill Avec, but he, he tries to back off now, so... Now Avec can get killed now, so it, it, it's pretty much a good move for what he did, so... You know, I have to see what Ra Rafa has in his bag, because... He's in an awkward position as he switch on to Avec. Rafa also missing his railgun there, and again... Finally connecting with his third. He's got 116, 72 and he's positioned by this teleport exit. Maybe expecting Alec to go for the rail or just looking for the rail up towards that rocket launcher, but finally makes the jump over towards red. And actually, I think Alec might be able to get all the items on the map here. Yeah, he can. Uh, I think Ruff is doing this well. He's trying to defend the yellow. He's doing a lot of damage as yeah. well. There's the rail gun. 74 to 17 left. He may even lose out on mega health here, Alec, missing that rail. Could prove disastrous as he pushes in, he will pick it up, but one more rail still will finish him off. Rafa might be the same as we switch on to him. Yeah, 11 HP as he picks up that second frag. He will pick up the red. Wow, aggressive move from the Yeah, I mean, Avex playing a very aggressive game all around at the moment, it seems. Almost reminds me of Kilsen on how he's playing some of these items. Kilsen, of course, not here at Dreamhack as Avex picks up his first frag. Yeah, well, I, I think a map like Airwalk, you need to play really aggressive. Yeah. Keep doing damage and eventually you get kills and you I, got I, control. I guess never really letting your opponent get to that 200-200 yeah. yeah, is, yeah. is the way to play this. Uh, as uh, Ave nice. picks up a spawn frag. This time opting for the red armor rather than to look for an aggressive spawn frag. Yellow armor taken by Rafa. And they're just trying to get a feel of his opponent. There's the Railgun. Rafa a decent position for this red, but probably have to back out. If you can hit this rail, it would be great, though. It would help a lot, especially because Mega Health's coming up. So he's done a nice job at Avec. Great play knowing that Mega Health time. Did a lot of chef damage uh, back there. Like, yeah, there's the threat. He only knew, uh, needed one rail to kill. Yeah, and that's just how poor this mega health time is on this map. It yeah. can either give you kills or it can save you. And there we go, five to suit. Red's on his spot. Avec knows it. There's the oh, jump over. The Critical <laughs> rail miss, but we'll pick up the flag after the red pickup. Nice of Rafa to at least deny it though, but Avec just in such a great position. Mega's coming up. Avec will manage to get that. And a nice rocket from Rafa on the defensive play. 
In wow. comes Avec, aggressive. Nice Rocky, though. I really thought Avec was going to go down to Rafa's rail then, but nice, nice play by Avec. Avec just seems to be playing so well with little to no health at the moment. I think uh, Rafa has a better stack now. Maybe even take the Mega and get some kills, you know? He's, he's gonna try to get the Mega. No, he's not. No, no. no just looking for that rail, it seems. We've got the Raider, but now Avex the one looking for the rail. Well, I mean, after one rail, all that armor from Avex is gonna be gone, so he's gonna have to back out towards the yellow. Again, missing the rail gun, Avex, when it mattered. And another. Avex slowly being pushed to the uh, yellow side of the map. Switch on to Rafa. Similar HP, so this Mega would help either player, but I guess Rafa is going to be the one to get it, although... It seems to know Avex not going to drop down as he uh, takes the teleport through towards the Railgun first. And again, both players just missing that easy rail by the Red Raven as you see a fight over by this uh, shotgun. Havoc will escape. Surely one player will go down now. Wow. <laughs> now again, rails miss from Rafa. And Avec through the teleporter. We've seen two of those rails in this tournament so far through the teleporter. Miss, but wow, nice grenades from Rafa. There's the third frag. Five minutes, 30 seconds. We mentioned earlier this frag is very easy to bring back kills if you can uh, position yourself well for the spawns and not take too much damage. See why Rafa's got in the bat. Uh, Avec hit a good rail there, but he needs to, like, at least two more rails to, like, get the red. Uh, he won't get it now. Because Rafa hit the rail there. Oh, did that rail hit? It might have connected, but still, the rocket's going to finish it off. Can he find Avec off the spawn, though? Is Avec going to play very, very slow? It looks like it. Rafa spied him, though. There's the, there's the rocket launcher through the teleport. Avec might get away, though. Rafa misses that railgun. Avic gets in on the mega health. Avic could probably. No, he can't probably because Rafa's still very, very tonked. They're missing a lot of rails here. Yeah, my accuracy button has broke again, so I can't check what actually hit it, but they are missing a lot. Well, you can just check the scores and see if it's dead as well. Oh, wait. So 27% for Raph and 38% for Avex. So Avex still hitting slightly more, but both missing the shots that matter. Avex, though, picks up that fight. 8 to 4 now in the lead. Nice, nice LG as well. He's going to go back, look for the spawn rail. Oh, big miss. He keeps missing those spawn rails. Yeah, and uh, they... yeah, it doesn't matter because he. Rafa missed them both also. See what Avex going to do. It's only 29 HP. Mega's in five. Surely he can't stick around for a nice double rail though. One more of those and he might be able to get in. But wow, nice LG battle actually. 28 HP for Rafa. Yeah, can Rafa pick up this frag though? That's the question. Avex must be low. He picked up the 225s I think, but still picking up that frag. Only 14 HP. This is a long time to wait for that red. Avex comes straight in off the spawn. Picks up that red. Yellow armor probably to Rafa, given he should be on that side of the map. But he's still yet to pick it up, finally. And now let's see what Rafa can do with switch to Trunks in. He's already lost all of that yellow armor. He's now railable. That 25 might save him. But he's going to have to give the Mega up. And when, you're, when your opponent's five frags in the lead, Draven, and you are you don't have anything on air well, what do you have to do? What can you try to do? Wow. Is it just the railgun? Yeah, railgun or, or hit those rockets here. Like, I mean, if you hit one more rocket, it could have killed Avec there. Yeah, but it does look like this map wow, is going nice, to go around. Nice there. shaft there. Yeah, well, he wouldn't have hit the railgun given today's percentages on uh, Aero Walk, so the LG was the safe alternative, and uh, it was a nice end to the map, as I believe both players have called good games. So you were right in saying that Avic has to win this map, but the question is can Rafa now win Furious Heights? 
we'll see that. <laughs> I, think, I think it will be a third map. Of course, the third map it's, would uh, be hectic. hectic yeah. I think that could go either way. We saw Avec beat Faz on it. We saw Rafa beat Faz on it. Vote now. Vote fast. Oh, basically, Avec was hitting a sick uh, LG, but his real was not that great. But Rafa didn't hit that much rules either, so... But I mean, LG could be useful on this map, by the Mega Health especially. Yeah, yeah. Useful, so. but I think this map is also a lot of, uh, like, real... Positioning. Uh, positioning, especially. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, Error Walk is more tend to randomness, but here we go live on the third map. The dis well, the second map, sorry. Uh, Rafa has to take it. Avec gets the yellow and the mega. There's going to be no delay on this mega this time. Uh, Avec plays this position that Rafa is so famous for. That upper railgun. It is just a great spot. Uh, looks like he wants to set up a trap on this red. Come in just as he spawns. There they attack in. Where is Rafa? Rafa actually over by the mega health. Perhaps didn't feel comfortable enough to attack in knowing that Avec had that mega health previously. But there's a nice first rocket by Rafa. One more of those in a second would finish him off. But Avec coming away with that with the frag. 47, 62. And the shards. He's not even going for the mega health straight away. Looking for the uh, 50 HP. That's how confident he is that Rafa spawned on the other side of the map. Uh, basically, Rafa hit on, like three face rockets on Avec there. But he still managed to lose the battle. Yeah, very, very unfortunate, but great play by Avid to capitalize on it. And just great move to get the 50 before the Mega. It was very impressive, making sure he had the 200 HP rather than the uh, 162 he would have had. Of course, the 50 HP people was only bring you to a maximum of 100 health. Only the 5 HP people was on the Mega health will take you above 100. We've got Red up and Mega around about the same time. Avid's choosing Red. Rafa, as you can see on the left side, has taken the Mega. Choosing not to stack up his rail ammo. Uh, Ruff is basically slowing it down. Uh, he's trying to get the right uh, uh, position and uh, the right timing to uh, get, go in fight. Like, like here, this is a good position to do damage. You may even get this red armor here. Yeah, and then now he can go in battle. Oh, wow, but great, great rail from Avec. If you hit some of those on uh, Arrow Walk, he may have come away with a victory. Ruff will back off, probably. Or try to do damage while doing. Uh, when Ava gets to Mega, well, he, he backs off. I think backing off was smart. I mean, yeah, it was smart. Right? You can sometimes pin your opponent with LG against the corner as they jump over to Mega, but most of the time you're going up against a heavily stacked player in an advantageous situation. But wow, aggressive pushing from Avic perhaps. He will back off towards the red. No, he's coming through the teleport into Rafa. Rafa's still alive. Maybe he can perhaps take Avec down, but unfortunately not. Avec just too stacked. Two to nil. Mega in five. Surely going to be another frag here for Avec. You can hear the screams from Rafa coming out. Only a matter of time. You can see Avec switching to machine gun at five damage apart, knowing that. Basically, every time when Avec makes a kill, he gets like mega or red. So he can continue getting in the kills, you know? Yeah, and I guess that's the thing with Fury's eyes. You can't yeah. really get the spawn frags, but you can play off the items very well, either four frags or to. Uh, Pick the items up after frags, so. There's one thing I definitely like about Furious Heights that you don't see so much in the others. Uh, have that 3 0 in the lead, and. Ruffo will get the red armor now. Kind of a mistake from over here. But he still has like a lot of armor in the auto. Yeah, switch on to Rafa. Avex 200-150, Rafa's 100-150, so Rafa has to be a little bit careful. He needs to hit the first rocket. If he doesn't hit the first rocket, he's already in an awful situation. So Looks like he's going to go take this yellow armor. Surely we'll perhaps wait for the red or the railgun onto red, but actually he's going to go up high and look for it instead. Two seconds till Mega. I'm not sure what Rafa's doing. Spinning around like a crazy madman, but 
finally goes picks up Omega on the yellow armor. But both players must be tanked. <laughs> I, I think, think. Yeah, Ruffer is slightly more armor than else. Still. And there's the LG battle. Rafa's going to switch out to Rocket first, so on to Avec. Avec knocked down to that lower level. We'll be able to pick up the red. Rafa will have to back off, probably for this yellow armor, but it's not on for another five seconds. Question is, where is Avec? Is he going to push in for the Mega? He is a lot more stacked than uh, Rafa. And Rafa taking up the same position he did just earlier on in this map. This time looking to do damage onto Avec as he jumps over, but missing the Raugen. Avec dropping down, not quite aggressive. We'll take that teleport back and allow Rafa onto the red. And this is awful for Rafa. He's got the 50 HP effectively giving him 150 at the time he picked that up. That was great, great movement from Rafa to utilize that 50. And look at that, able to pick up the frag. Exceptional play. Avec should have perhaps positioned himself closer to the 50 in that movement, in that fight, but... I think uh, Avec was too aggressive now on that, uh, at the 50 out. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not a place you should take a fight, is it, really? No, not really. When you have that 50 HP in full, in full view, it's not something you should really go you should, for. You should just do some damage and then try to go around him or something, or get a better position. Yeah, but saying that, Avec does have 275, so... Avex still actually in a better position, I would say. Yeah, and he, he's gonna get the yellow, so now he's in definitely in a better position now. Rafa missing that rail. Did he miss it? I think he did. Yeah, he missed it. And there you go, Rafa trapping, almost trapped Avex up against that corner. That was almost painful. He should drop for the red and then. Yeah. And it's, it's Rafa that has to attack Avex. Yeah, and here we see Rafa coming in aggressive, knowing exactly where Avig would be. Perhaps the most common area on the map, as we keep mentioning, when you're uh, playing more defensive role. Red Omega spawning. Again, both players settling for different. Nice defensive grenades. They will connect with one directly. Once a Rafa, that will help. I think he's trapped. Rafa's going to come out. Avic will trap him with his rockets, surely. No, Rafa getting out of there. Let's switch on the Rafa, see where he is at the moment. He's by that 50 HP, which is not up. Avic will be able to pick up the frag. His red armor will also go to Avic. And the yellow as well. And the yellow. And he can go for the mega as well. So Avic actually in a great position to take this in two. And it's not surprising to me, I've seen Rafa in many tournaments lose out in the group stages yeah. and then come back in the playoffs to... And then win the tournament. Win the tournament. Yeah. So a lot here wouldn't surprise me, but Alex still does have a bit of work to do. The red armor did go to Rafa. We'll switch on to Rafa, he is the guy that needs to make three frags. He's got the yellow armor. Oh, you can still do that. He has pretty much, he has pretty much every item. And well, if you get caught out by LG like that, whose LG is going to be better though will be Rafa's. The problem is there is no armor upon the map, so Avic might be able to get a couple of weapons and attack him. It wouldn't surprise me, Avic has been playing very aggressive. And look, there he goes, dropped down to red armor. Rafa though hitting the railgun, that will help, but he only has seven seconds to get towards well, uh, this mega. Yeah. Avic just has a rocket launcher. Well, he probably got the LG now. Will he come into Mega? Bit of a push in from that upper LG, but smart to back off. Yeah, he should slow it down too. I don't think he can contest this uh, red armor. It looks to me that trying to get a frag onto Rafa now with 1 minute and 45 seconds remaining is almost impossible. So it's all about letting Rafa come to you and then taking what you can get. I imagine Rafa, uh, Avec must be quite stacked. He's got the 171, so... Slight disadvantage, but one direct rocket onto Rafa coming in aggressive, and the fight is suddenly even. That was pretty good. But nice, nice direct rocket from Rafa. He's going to drop down and look for this LG onto Avec. There's that yellow armor up. Could save him, unfortunately not. 41 to 50 now. Rafa also got the red armor. Will Avec get the mega in yellow? Yeah, Avec gets the mega. mega. He gets the yellow. He only has a rocket, though. Oh, Rafa missing that railgun. Avec not wanting to drop down because he knows if he does, he could get trapped. I think Avec will sit here until uh, Rafa makes a move. 
he can place his rocket well. Oh no, wow, he's seen Rafa down lower level. Rafa should, he, he needs to take the teleport, really. Let's see what he's got planned. He's actually below him in between both Mega and Red in that corridor. We've got 35 seconds remaining. I'm almost switching on to Rafa for this last 35 as we see what he can nice do. Rocket. Misses the Railgun. Nice, nice rocket jump, yes, Draven. Very well played by Abbott, right? Yeah, Apex is doing the right move. Just moving away. Wow. I don't see a frag coming for Rafa, unfortunately, but he is going to carry on to look for it. There's the red. He's going to rocket jump up to lower level. That is double rocket jumping. Gotta be GG. Surely he won't be able to pick all the fragments to have it. He's just going to do the teleport dance. Well played, my yeah, very, very well played. What are your thoughts on that game overall? Uh, well, like I said, if uh, Ava can win Airwalk, then he can maybe upset him on T7. And yeah, I think Hectic would maybe favor Rafa, I think. I yeah. think uh, the Americans are better on uh, the newer maps. But big win for Havok. Havok's been yeah. looking for his tournament. Yeah, he's really strong. Yeah, he's been looking for it for a long time now. I don't know when the last win was. I've got it somewhere here, but it's been... Uh, a long time coming, so we'll have to see. But Ref, of course, always picking it up for the playoffs. So I'm sure uh, we'll see more even though he goes through in second place. But that was Rafa versus Avec. Uh, I've been MVC. With me has been Draven. This has been Level Up TV at DreamHack Summer 2011.